Day three, 12 week plan tryout. Gonna be hitting legs today. Getting started with a little bit of a squats warm up. How many reps we hitting on that one, B? Warm up, 20 reps. Just kinda get the motion down, get warmed up, and then uh, add the weight after that. So the reps on this one is gonna be 12, 10, 8, 6. Getting this leg workout started right. Squats. It's only 5 p.m., but as you can see, it's already dark out. Thank God for our home gym. It's 5 p.m. on a Friday. The gym would be packed right now. But as you can see, it's just me, Brandon, and a load of laundry. Thankfully, it's pretty quiet. Buff dude's gotta stay clean. Feel a little heavy. Eight reps. So we got one more to go. It was six reps after this one. We're changing the whole game. Night workouts. You thought CrossFit was hardcore? Fuck that shit. Buff dudes do walking lunges. No matter what hour, let's do it. Oh shit, oh no, my app shut down, oh no, there we go, oh yeah, Hudson, you're up, spooky, you don't know what you're gonna come across, maybe like a raccoon, or maybe the Babadook, Blair Witch Project. I don't want to do walking lunges. Go nice and slow on the eccentric. Take your time on the way down until you feel that nice deep stretch. Keep that back nice and flat. Shoulders back. And then so as soon as you reach that nice deep stretch in the bottom position, you're going to try to use more of a rubber band, kind of more of a quicker motion to the top position, forceful. And I squeeze the top and the glutes. Romanian deadlifts. As we've said many times, a buff dude who doesn't work out legs is just a dude. KB swings, kettlebell swings, gonna be three sets, 12 reps. Really working on hip extension. You're not trying to squat down and then come up. So try not to bend in the knees too much. The knees will be bent slightly, but for the most part, you're pitching forward, flexing in the ham or in, excuse me, in the hips. And once you reach that position right here with the kettlebell right at the groin area, you're gonna thrust forward and the momentum is gonna carry the dumbbell upwards. And then you're gonna decelerate the weight by flexing the hips down to the bottom position. So really trying to work on form, don't go too heavy right away. Just feel comfortable with it. And again, it's all in the hips and not... My time's up, sorry. <laughs> Closer dry! So, you'll sometimes notice a lot of guys in the gym, or girls, but mostly guys, because you know, they want to show off. They put, load up five plates plus on each side, and then they do this. Bounce that weight up, create a bunch of momentum. You know, here's a little tip. Slow the repetition down, slow the tempo down down all the way, get a nice stretch in those calves and then press up with the plantar flexion, heels all the way to the top position, get a good squeeze and then repeat the process. And I guarantee you can cut your weight in half and you feel it a lot more and get a nice burn in those calves. All right, there we go. Another successful workout in the books. Day three of us trying out our new 12 week plan. Now, time for the fun part. Chocolate milk and protein. Ugh. <sighs> 